Welcome to Glitter Bus Style, and this is a reader's request video about how I keep my nails long. So thank this special reader right here for asking. And I want to apologize to her. I thought I had made a video about this, so that's why it took me a while, but I realized it was another topic that I covered. But anyway, um, it's going to be a short video because my tips are very simple. There's really nothing that's a secret about what I do. Um, I say it all the time. Uh, I use cocoa butter for my face and I also use cocoa butter for my hands. Um, instead of me carrying lotion around, like hand lotion, I have cocoa butter that I use always on my hand. Uh, once in a while, if I have an event, I'll have a fragrance scent like um, you know, a Chanel, um, my Chanel perfume um, lotion or any type of fragrance scent. But for the most part, my daily routine, I use cocoa butter. Uh, I use the solid form of the cocoa butter. Um, it comes like in a plastic jar. It's Palmer's cocoa butter. You can get it at Walmart, Target, anywhere. Um, I like it better than the um, creamy one that you can squeeze out of the bottle. It just, for me, it lasts longer and it's just easier opening for, with my arthritis. I have arthritis in my wrist, so it's just easy, easier for me to just scoop it out that way. Um, and uh, I just, you know, put it all over my hands and also my nails. So that's something that I use often, I would say. That's a daily routine that I use. So I really think that that helps with nail growth. Um, that's like the only thing I could think of that that's a product that I use on the regular that I could say really works. Um, other than that, uh, drink water with lemon. I do that often. And also, I am a big fruit eater, so I usually eat a lot of grapes. And that's good for you because it, you know, it, it, it's a good snack and it retains, you know, water. So it makes you feel full um, very easily. So I eat a lot of yogurt, jabani, banana, and pineapple are my favorites. Um, like I said, I really don't have really any secrets for it. Like that's usually the things that I do. Um, for my nails, I usually use Sally, uh, this one, Sally Hansen's Hardener. Um, this is the only thing I usually use as a top coat. I use it as a base coat. I just use it um, when I take a break from polish on my nails. This is the clear polish I use. Um, she has some other polish uh, hardeners, not hardeners, but the clear polish and they don't seem to work for my nails. I, I don't know why. Um, it must be something in the ingredients. I, I have no idea, but this particular one is the best for my nails. I've never had a problem with it. Um, I don't tend to use a lot of polish with glitter um, that has to sh um, strip some of my nail, um, the top layer off like a few summers back. So I stopped really using nail polish with the glitter and it once in a while I may do it and it's always the same um, results. It, literally strips your nails. So if I do use a polish with glitter, I'll just usually do one nail. So um, I try to stick away from that. Um, I usually do a lot of light colors like white. I got my manicure and my pedicure done today. I don't go to the um, nail salon often. Um, if I'm going to an event or a special occasion or, you know, maybe I just want to you know, pamper myself, I'll go get my nails done, but I don't do my nails like, you know, every week or every two weeks. I mean, I, I don't have money to be doing that. Um, um, so I don't do that often, but I do get it, you know, styled. Um, like I was saying, I stick to light polishes once in a while. I may go, you know, with, you know, crazy colors, but I prefer a white polish, something light, um, red stains your nails. I had red on a while ago and it really stains and it's really tough to um, get that color off after a while when you, when you wear it. So it's just certain colors you, you know, you don't really want to wear often. And uh, what else, what else can I say? Give your nails a break from the polish. Um, I tend to wear, you know, these are my natural nails. I don't have tips on and I've never ever had tips on in my life. I will, will never put them on. There's nothing wrong with them, but it's just, I 
never had to use them so um like this hand here is my right hand this usually for the winter time um they tend to break easily but for from the for some reason, excuse me, I'm getting all jubbly with my words. For some reason, this season, they grew faster, and these were the ones that were always breaking, so I, I don't know why. But um, I tend to give my nails a break from color, and like I was saying, it doesn't really bother me because my nails already, you know, they have the length, so I can wear clear polish for a month, and, you know, I wouldn't be anticipating to put color on because, you know, they look like they're already manicured from the clear and you know with the with my white uh, looking tips so try to take a break from you know colors and I know summer's coming so you definitely want to make sure your hands and everything looks appropriately for that season so if you have to take a break now before that season comes do it get that cocoa butter it's Palmer's cocoa butter and um, keep it in your bag and always you know use it as a hand lotion, use it as everything for your hands. It's a good moisturizer and it's also a good skincare remedy. So for more beauty, buzz, and fashion tips, you know where to find me, always on my blog at Glitter Buzz Style.